because you can be really consistent, really professional and a complete douche to clients and they're not going to respect that. Right, the answer to the question is be professional, uh, uh, be kind to your clients or be respectful of your clients. And I think be professional can actually be broken down into be knowledgeable, uh, be consistent, and consistent in the way you deliver things and consistent in the way that people might expect a veterinary professional to be. So be as knowledgeable as you can given the stage of your career that you're at and seek to grow that all the time. But the thing you really, really want to get good at early on is know your process. Uh, and how much time do I spend lecturing or talking about know your process, right? Do a physical examination and a history on every animal every time. And the more you use a process over and over, the, the faster you get at it, the easier it gets, and the more effective it becomes. So I think building uh, confidence you know, the confidence in your client that has in you, that confidence, that respect the client's gonna have for you is not about knowing everything about their pet, but it's about acting professionally, uh, consistently, uh, using a process, and then explaining things in a way that brings the owner on the journey with you so they understand what it is you're talking about. I don't think pet owners expect you to know the answer to everything every time. You know, you'll build respect for the, a client when you can work within that very, very fluid situation, that dynamic situation that changes from one pet owner to the next of what they can afford financially, what they can afford emotionally, what they can afford physically, and what they can afford on a time basis. Those things are different for every family, but your process doesn't have to be. So I think you're gonna win respect through the delivery of a process that you come to know well, and when you do something well to high standard, a high consistency every time, that's virtually the definition of being a professional. We all have our aptitudes. We all have the things that we are naturally good at. But that doesn't mean that we're yet confident in those things. It doesn't mean that we're yet brilliant at those things. That always takes practice. That takes time. There's no shortcuts to that shit. You just gotta keep at it. I think for completeness of this answer, it would be uh, a consistent professional approach, process driven approach, and treat people kindly, treat people well, treat people with respect in order to get respect. Uh, if you do that often enough, you'll build great relationships with clients and your confidence will flow from there. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed that episode. Now, if you would like to learn an awful lot more about professional skills, and you should, because they're the skills upon which you can build a successful and happy career, and please check out vetexinternational.com. You're going to find a ton of resources there, all of which are completely available, freely available from our mentor wall to training sessions, to articles, to podcasts, all designed with your career happiness in mind. Go check it out now, vetexinternational.com. I think you'll be glad that you did.